Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks, and tonight I'm making creamy meatball surprise. It's been a while since I did this recipe, but we've got to hurry because the guy's coming to fix the oven. So let's get started. I'm looking for my measuring spoon. So you're just going to use a, a pound of brown chuck and a half a pound of Italian sausage. We're going to mix it together with some black pepper and chili powder. So uh, this is really good. It's just something I concocted to use ground beef for supper, but let it be a little bit different because you put the Italian sausage in it. And it's not a, an Italian dish. It's actually a creamy dish. So um, it's so different. So we're going to put the Italian sausage in with the ground beef. I am going to put in about a teaspoon of chili powder and about a half teaspoon of pepper. I probably need a little bit more. And now we're going to mix it up. And I'm using my hands tonight. We're going to mix this meat up good. Um, so get your Italian sausage mixed in there really well. Is there anything to drink in that refrigerator in there that I, my mouth is so dry. I need something to drink. There's some Cokes. I'll just get some water. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're mixing up the ground beef with the cinnamon. Cinnamon? It, you mean the I chili mean the powder? chili powder. Yeah, that'd be a real surprise. And the Italian sausage. <laughs> that'd be a real surprise. It really is different though. It tastes Having a chili lot. powder with yeah. Italian sausage. Yeah, it does taste a, a lot different than what you... And it's really good. Yeah. Okay, so all we do now is we brown these in the skillet. So just make sure you get your Italian sausage mixed in there good because you don't want some of them pure Italian and some of them pure beef. So we're going to come over here to the skillet and we're going to light it. Chris is going to help me. So can you just turn that eye on high? Which one? This one? No, the inside one. This one? Yeah. Hey, we did uh, it. Turn it all the way up to high. Okay. Okay. And um, you'll notice I got a new copper skillet this is not real copper or it cost me four hundred dollars it is gotham steel copper pans um, you can get them on amazon i got it because aluminum is the best heat conductor besides copper it's it goes copper aluminum um and i think i think cast iron is actually at the very bottom but i wanted something that would get hot enough to cook the things that I want to fry that was non-stick, this is non-stick, um, that would stay more evenly distributed in my, for my stove because I don't get a lot of gas power to it. It's, I think the highest burner is 17,000 BTUs and when you hook up the natural gas, it actually goes lower than that. Propane gas. I mean propane. Lord, I need Chris tonight. Can't think. And yeah, I'm in a little bit of a tizzy because the guy's coming and I want to get it done before he gets here. And we should. We should be able to. We have somebody asking if we have a recipe for tartar sauce. We do have. Uh, if you'll go on and search it, I think it's still on the YouTube videos. You can search any of our videos. Just put CBC in front of whatever it is you're looking for. You'll be surprised how many different things we have how many videos we got but we do have a tartar sauce one or we have well we have one where we make it i don't know if it's just well that. if it's not t with tartar if you can't try that first yeah if, if our fish don't come up that has some tartar sauce with it then just look up fried fish cbc fried fish yeah we probably have one and the there. tartar sauce will be on the probably with the recipe maybe fish. maybe should be I know it's gonna put the Trish says she bought the Maxim pot and pan set uh -huh. from the website and that she really liked it. Yeah, they really uh, like ours. Okay. Oh, oh, she, oh, she's getting it tomorrow. She's oh. excited. Okay, we're bringing our water to a boil for noodles because we're gonna serve this over noodles. We're gonna make a creamy sauce, so we're bringing that water to a boil. We're also bringing some more some uh, steamed broccoli tonight. So we're having these 
in a cream sauce served over noodles with some green broccoli. Got a lot going on. Yeah, we've only used that pan like one time, right? So this far? one? Yeah. Yeah, we brought some okra in it last night. And you're going to want to get these good and done, you know, because they're oh. pretty big. Yeah. I may flatten them a little bit just so that I don't have to wait forever on them. We'll have flat meatballs. If I had all the time in the world, I wouldn't have to do that. But I don't. Yeah, somebody won't like it because she masked them and they're not round. Big balls are supposed to be round. <laughs> you see. Well, they are round. Oh, uh, we seen two people today. We seen, um, we went out to eat today in Kingsland. We saw Nikki. Hey, Nikki. We also saw... She was our waitress. She was our waitress. She was awesome. She was yep. very, very good. And then we saw uh, Stephanie Bell at the Aldi grocery store. In Yulee. In Yulee. And she's a YouTuber. Both of them watch YouTube. So, hey to both of you. We had a couple people ask uh, about the new Facebook thing. We do have a Facebook page, and we have like a couple of things on that. So if you look on Facebook, it has links on any of the videos for any kind of other site and stuff we have for that. Oh, they're asking about the extra? Yeah. We have a, a thing called Colored Valley Cooks Extra on Facebook. It is live, more live footage of me in the kitchen, raw footage. I, I'm not going to fool with like making it a job and having to give y'all a recipe. It's just mostly just spending time with me live in the kitchen. So if you want to see uh, that, you can pay $4.99 a month. And I turn it on quite a bit. Um, we do viewers recipes and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, and we do viewer recipes it's, as well. Yeah, it's so, just members that are on that. Right, if you're interested in it, of course you can subscribe. Um, but we do post on YouTube, I mean, Almost. Facebook three times a day anyway. Yeah. And YouTube pretty much. YouTube gets almost about four or five a week. At YouTube, least. I mean not YouTube. Facebook gets two reruns every day: one at 11:30 a.m., yeah. one at 2:30 p.m. And the reruns. And then they also get a night video if we do something at night. So I'll copy this video to Facebook later tonight. Yeah, but so, YouTube, y'all get pretty much a video almost every yeah, day. Yeah, they get a video almost every day, but they don't sell my old ones. So if they yeah. want to be a part of looking at the older videos or yeah, old stuff. or if they want to be a part of those lives, they can always join. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, Lori Lyons is a YouTuber. And I actually did her recipe this week of a mandarin orange cake. Because I've been wanting to do it. And I made it two different ways, so there's four different videos of it. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to put the lid on these so that they can get done faster. And we're going to get over here and we're going to start mixing up our... I'm also going to put our broccoli back here. We're going to start mixing up our cream sauce. And this is a new camera. If you would let us know how the picture is for you guys. I think this is the first live video we've done with YouTube with it. I thought we did it. No, I don't think hey, we did. Soda. All right, I'm going to salt and pepper these. I like to do it while they're in the steamer. And if you wanted to taste a little bit different since we're doing 
um, something different tonight. I want to grab something up here and sprinkle on them. Oh, you're going to put something different on them. Broccoli, huh? Yeah. Dress them up a little. Grab something and throw it on them. Yeah, we'll close that up. Those will be ready soon. Now, this right here, all it needs is some salt. We're going to drop our pasta. I love it when you add salt to boiling water and it boils up like that. It's fun. <laughs> Here's our little pastas. These are our pot-sized spaghetti. I'm using thin spaghetti tonight because that's what I had. So I'm going to put the lid back on it, and once it comes to a boil, of course, I'll take it off or it'll boil over. And we'll just have to watch this meat. But in the meantime, we're going to mix up our cream sauce, mm -hmm. okay? It says a can of evaporated milk. So we're going to put that in here. I've already opened it. This is a very rich cream sauce. A can of cream of mushroom. And you're supposed to use also a can of cream of celery, and I didn't have both, so I'm just using two cream of mushrooms. So... Whatever you got works, even if you got chicken. You just use what you got. All right, and then you're gonna put in some black pepper. Some chili powder. Oh, this is a shaker. I'm just gonna put a little bit. Whoa. Put a lot, didn't I? <laughs> All right, I want to flip these right quick, Chris. All right. Now you'll notice I'm using a silicone uh, lid. Oh, flip oh, flip them. Okay. They're doing fine. Yeah. Picking up nice. Yeah. And of course, that side of the skillet's hotter because the broccoli's going over there. So, of course, they're going to get browner on that side over there. So, we'll, we'll trade them out. Looking good, looking good. All right, now we're just gonna whisk this together with a whisk. And this is really good, and it's simple, y'all. And it's so different. I just could talk with this one night, and then Chris loved it. And the kids like it. It says to add a cup of water. Oh yeah, here's my water. Thank you, Daddy. Mm -hmm. I call Chris Daddy, because he's been a daddy for years. It's a great daddy. Okay. So we're just whisking this together. This is going to be our gravy that we're going to serve the meatballs in. Yummy. All right. So I'm going to put this stuff up. Watch out, sweetie. And I'm going to flip the meat. Now, once that broccoli starts, whoa, 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 once that starts boiling, you got to get the top off. And once that broccoli starts going like that, I don't like to cook it, but a, just a few minutes. I'll be so glad when they fix my stove, because once they fix the stove, I'll have an actual timer again over here. He's coming this evening. He should be here probably within the next 20 minutes or so. Yeah, so we got to get this done. So I told Chris, I said, we got to get in there and cook. Okay. Now, we're going to drain these, y'all, so that they, um, I'm going to flip them up on their sides. All of them. I think I am. We're going to drain them before we add the cream sauce, because we don't want all that grease in our cream sauce. And somebody said they didn't like the mushrooms in the cream of mushrooms, and could they strain it? Yeah, you could. No, you don't just think don't you use cream of mushroom. Just don't that? use cream of mushroom. Use cream of chicken. Oh, cream of chicken? Yeah. yeah. Any cream soup. Use two cream of celery, but I wouldn't go to the trouble of straining the mushroom off. I just use a different one. Most, For the most part, you're, you're really just trying to, you know, get a creamy gravy going. So it's not going to hurt. Or you can make your own 
Bring it, Greg. Yeah. You want it to? Oh yeah. But then it wouldn't be as fun because <laughs> it would take too much time. Then it'd be work. Yeah. It don't take that long to make gravy, but y'all know I can make gravy. But I just like to do different stuff. I don't, I don't want gravy and everything. I make I make gravy for my chicken pot pie, and it's really really good. And chicken pot pie, but for this, I think it's gonna be. Good. It would even be fine if you used prima chicken and wanted to add a little bit of a, uh, well, you don't really need to. I was going to say add a little bit of brown, McCormick brown gravy mix or something. Play with it. But just remember that the thing that makes this so different is the fact that it's Italian sausage mixed in it's with chili. chili powder. And it, it's, it's international. And it's just really <laughs> good. It is... I mean, I didn't know what to call it besides uh, meatball surprise because it's not something you'll probably find anywhere else. And it's something I just, like I said, I made it up. I told Chris I was going to try it one night and we just really liked it. And I said, All right, look how pretty our broccoli is looking. Yep. You don't want to overcook your broccoli. So it usually only takes it about five minutes. I'm going to fork it and see if it's done. I like for it to be have a little bit of a bite. Oh, yeah. Ready. Julie right. Parker donated $25. Thank you, Julie Parker. She's always... Julie Parker. Honey. She's giving too much. Yeah. You need to... I mean, I love you and everything, but I'm just a little worried you give so much to us. <laughs> it makes me feel guilty. Yeah. All right. Um, all right. These look good to me. Now I'm going to go ahead and get some of this grease out of here and we're going to put our cream sauce in. And let's check on these. Pull one up. Break it apart a little bit. Okay. I'm going to use paper towels to get most of the grease out of here. I think. Now I'm washing it. Well, let me ask y'all a question. When that phone call came in, did y'all lose your picture? Or was that just us? Yes, it, you have to hit resume when it does that. If our I mean, phone rings, we have, yeah. to, we have to decline just, the call. Yeah, I'm just curious what they saw. Yeah. Oh, well, they said that little thing spun, so... Oh, it just kind of spun like yeah. we were offline. Yeah, like it paused. Thank y'all yeah. for telling me. What is going on here? You covered it again. Ooh, a lot going on. We'll have to remember that next time. We'll all right, that's, that's good. I don't mind that it has a little bit of oil in there. I just didn't want all of it. All right, here we go. All right, here we go with the cream sauce. <laughs> And now they're going to sit in this, and we're going to serve them over the pasta. We're going to bring this to a boil. That's done. And let me check on these, baby. What, the noodles? Yeah, let's see how. They're not quite ready. But I need to get something to pour them out in okay. right quick. I love eating noodles when they're like this. I just love them. When they're not good. I gotta get me a strainer. And somebody asked if this was the Maxim cookware that's on here now. Uh, they look just like the... Um, that one is a Maxim. Which one? This one? That one. I yeah. mean, you can't tell the difference. You can't difference, tell the difference period. between that and salad. Mixture. I mean, the bottom of them are identical. Yeah. The thickness, the stamp yeah. on them on the bottom is the same stamp in everything. This is different. Where it'll say, like, what kind of... Yeah, but that they, lid, they look the same. But do you know what? I like the Maxim lids better than my other ones. Yeah. So. They're a good deal. Yeah, it's, it's a great, great deal. If y'all like saladware, steel, you know, cookware. Salad, salad master. master. Still, I'm getting like you. Uh -huh. I can't talk. Well, we're both getting old. 
getting tongue tied. Brain tied. Get the old. That's what they are. Put this in here. Okay. What was in here? We are having meatball surprise for the people that came on late. What was? Oh, the ground beef was in here. It's fine. So these are some different kind of meatballs. Yes, you can show them the recipe while we're waiting. That is in our second cookbook. And the news about the third cookbook is that it is pretty much done. All we got is the final lines in the cover. We have looked through it and looked through it, added things to it. So it will not hopefully be long. But I do want to turn it in and get a book and, and just, you know, do a short review. This is, what is it? August? It's almost August. It's July, like... 20. They should be out by the third week of August. We hope. Yep. Won't be long. They're saying you're not old enough to. You don't. Apparently, you don't have to be too old to forget. Oh yes, we are. To, <laughs> to as soon as a woman gets mm. menopause, she starts doing that. Mm-hmm. And I get menopause early because of chemotherapy. Um, Chris is just now starting to have signs of aging to me. Hmm. I've had I'm losing. A, I'm losing my hair. I've had signs of aging for ten years because of chemotherapy. It really affected my. It really did affect my body a lot. It ages you a lot. But Chris is re in good, really good shape, and so. He hasn't had to deal with much. He's not been to the doctor very much at all in the 20 years that we've been married. I have poison ivy. Yeah. <laughs> nothing, nothing much. My arm's doing better. Some people asked about my arm earlier. I yeah. saw that. It's not, we're not going to get surgery. We're just going to. Gosh, it takes that thing forever. What? The bulla? Yes. Yeah. I'm going to taste it again because it's time to eat. You could do like I used to do when I was in college. I'd throw it up against the... Look, I just did. Yeah, there you go. I'd throw it up. Oh. That's the way we did in college. Well, I can't even reach yeah. the cabinet. You're, we were, uh, You're in front of the cabinet. We're a lot better at throwing. It's sticking to my finger, so it's, it's ready. It's ready. <laughs> that is, that's no lie. That really is how we did we I did throw, We would throw it against the cabinet. Okay. I can just imagine you. Chris lived in a fraternity house. Nah, just for a little bit. Oh, you did? Yeah, I only lived in there about one semester. Oh. <clears throat> Everybody early. always gets on to me because I get rid of all that water. You, want, you can use that in different things. And I never do. I'll just get rid of it. All right. Let's eat. Here we go. All right. Let me stick in a plate. They said a watch pot never boils. So you don't need to watch your pot. Yeah. When y'all are on here live, I always am more, you know, ready for things to get done. Because I don't want y'all to have to wait so long. I like to use my blending fork for spaghetti. It works really, really good. Do we support any charities? We give money to a lot of things. Yeah, we just gave some money to missionaries. I also help an elderly woman. Um, her care. With her care. She, I asked for people to tell me, you know, if there's anybody out there I could help last Christmas. And her daughter sent me a message. And she needed, like, someone to... Take care of her. Come over several a times week. a yeah. week. 
and go get her groceries and things like that. So we pay for her care. We do different things. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely a, a big hearted girl. We were paying our youngest daughter's best friend's college. So yes, we, we are giving folks because God blesses us, so we bless others. It's not us, it's him. He, to me, has made Colored Valley Cooks what it is today by enabling us to have a sound mind and body. So therefore, we, you know, we We believe that people. you should give. We, we love yeah. people. All right. For real. Look at that. Do y'all think it looks pretty? Or what? That's a big plate. That's going to be Chris's. But I'm going to taste it for y'all. She always makes the big plates for the camera. Yep. Show a close up of the meatballs. I'm going to make a tea right quick while you're showing them that. Oh, I've got to thank a few people right quick. Right quick, I'm going to thank a few people because y'all are talking about giving. Let's thank a few people for giving to us. Someone sent Chris three fishing shirts this week. They didn't put their name on them. So we really don't know who they came from, but he's definitely wearing them already. They're already in the dirty clothes. Um, Julie Parker sent me a bunch of Turvis cups. And it's really funny because they all mean something. Like one says retired, it, you know, and they have, one has a fish on it and stuff like that. So thank you, Julie. We also had somebody send us this. It's Wendy Kingston said her mama Cheryl has got stage four lung cancer and she can't get out of bed. So she and her mother watch the show. There's a picture of them. And she makes these door hangers and she made us one. I haven't even fluffed up the thing yet because I wanted to show everybody and say thank you. Thank you so very much for thinking of us. Um, she to, watches the videos with her mother and, and cooks the right. recipes. Her mama likes it. So I also got I also got a um, set of measuring spoons this week from a viewer because I had sent over. I found out an elderly lady that she had taken care of um, was had hospice called in. So I had sent over some flowers and stuff. So she sent me some measuring cup spoons. They're right there as a gift. So we get stuff. If you give, you usually receive as well. That's for sure. And also we have another uh, YouTuber that's been having some... Um, Physical issues. Oh yes, we uh, do. Leslie Madron, farmer, pastor's wife. The farmer, pa the farming. Pastor's wife. Pastor's wife. Yeah, she's having some physical. Leslie things. has been would. sick, so if y'all yeah. been watching, y'all need to catch up with her. She's trying to eat healthier because she's got a lot going on. So y'all um, keep her in your prayers. She's a real sweet. They're a real sweet family. They really are. All right, let's get started. These are really uh, different. Yeah. If you, <laughs> the first time I ate them, I was not expecting that. But they're good. He was like, what did you put in here, Tammy? I'm like, something good, boy. That's why we call it surprise. Yeah. It was a surprise. So you can tell the meatballs, of course, are done. We cooked them plenty long enough. You want to make sure you get your cream sauce. If you want a thicker sauce, I like it like this. But if you want it real thick, then just don't add, you know, as much water as I did. Just don't even add, if you want it really thick, don't add any water. Or just add a half a cup instead of um, the full cup. It's so hot, I don't want to get burnt. I'm just going to taste the noodles for now. Mm -hmm. That's hot. Hot and good. Mm -hmm. 
takes me a minute to chew it up. Fast supper, very economical and easy. Use half a pound of Italian sausage and a pound of ground beef and make this soon. We will post it, it is in the second cookbook. And this is how I like my broccoli. I like for it to be fork tender, but still have a little bit of, you know, it needs to be able to hold its shape and not be mushy. Once it comes to a boil, it tastes so good with those spices on it. Once it comes to a boil, it should only be in there about five minutes. And you need to take it off the heat. If you've got an electric stove, pull it off the eye or it will get too mushy. That's perfect. Yummy. Great supper. Thanks for watching. Collard Valley Cooks. Let me finish my broccoli. Thanks for watching. Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. Y'all go make Meatball Surprise. Love ya.